We'd also like to recognize the person who came the farthest to be with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, will you help me welcome Navy CB Culinary Specialist First Class Steve Kioski. Steve is returning from Iraq after 10 months of active duty. Now that's what I call a family reunion. Uh, they are always so special, the reunion of those who serve with their loved ones back home. And this weekend, more emotions when friends and family gathered for the homecoming in St. Paul. And Fox 9's Tim Blotz was there. It does feel like forever. <laughs> On a tarmac full of signs, there is one that needs no explanation. My husband Brad's about to come home from his deployment, and I promised him that when he landed, that I would make sure the second he was here, he knew if he had a son or a daughter. He's been waiting since June to find out. When he left, I didn't even look pregnant. <laughs> it all makes the wait painful, yet gloriously satisfying, because it all comes down to this. And this. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> oh, I love you. Feels unbelievable. I've been waiting a long time to hear <laughs> about this. I'm so proud of him. So proud of him. Hi Mackenzie, hi Colin, it's Daddy. I love you. I miss you guys very much and I can't wait to see you again. I'm really sorry that I'm not there with you guys right now. I love you and happy Valentine's Day. I'm sorry again that I can't be there for Valentine's Day. Did you guys like that? Yeah. All right, well, you know what? I think we have a special visitor that wanted to come in and talk to you guys about this. Are you guys ready to see the special visitor? Yeah? All right, let's go see if they're, if they're ready to visit with us. Let's go see. Is there a special visitor for us yet? Yeah. Let's see. There's a special visitor, I heard. Okay, Alex. Let me see if our special visitor's here. Oh, he's going to come talk to you guys about it. Let's see. 
CJ emotional right now. Come on, this way. melts your heart and this emotional homecoming happened at the Outagamie County Regional Airport just this afternoon. Good evening everyone. Thanks for joining us. A couple that was serving in the U.S. Army in Afghanistan returned home to the surprise of their two children. Travis and Isola Ullman will be in Northeast Wisconsin just for a couple of weeks. They're on leave. The couple had not seen their children since this past October and as Fox 11's Ben Crumholt shows us tonight, the Ullman surprise visit intensified the emotion of their return. <laughs> Travis and Asilla Ullman didn't tell their family they were returning from Afghanistan until a few hours before their arrival. We totally lied to everybody. We told them that we were coming home in December. The couple hoped to surprise their children, True and Tashaya. The children came to the airport thinking they were taking a tour with Boy Scouts. Oh, there's True. There's True. There's True. <laughs> I was shocked. I didn't really know we were going to do anything. I thought it was just Scout's thing. It was a surprise. Words can't describe it. 
For Travis Allman, the break comes in the middle of his first deployment. For his wife, Asela, it is her second trip overseas. It's hard, but, you know, it's for a reason, so. The Allman's children say it's difficult having both parents away for so long. Scary and kind of frustrating because if you get in a bad mood, they're not there for you to, they're not there to cheer you up or anything. But now that their parents are back for two weeks, Tashaya and True have big plans. Hug them over and over, uh, and then I want to show them my room, and I want to bring them to school. So we're just going to go and take it day by day so we don't try to rush things and miss something, and we're just going to do whatever happens. In Greenville, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. The Almonds, who both grew up in the area, is their permanent active duty post right now, and home is near Anchorage, Alaska. And while they're serving overseas, the children are staying with a grandmother in Chi Octon. The Almonds say when they return to their para -jump, a parachute jumping unit in Afghanistan, they don't expect to be back home until again October. You know, I I I really don't think I should present this award to Austin. I have somebody that I would really like to present this award to you. And that person is PFC Sean Dasher. <laughs> You have to unlock it. Unlock the door, please. Go ahead, open it. Unlock it. Okay, here, I'll help you. Come on in. Okay, open your eyes.
I get into uh, a few of the back last night? Oh. Uh, that's where mommy met me there. And you know what? Nanny and Papa right there for me. Are you happy, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> oh. give me, give me, give me. And they got special yeah. haircuts. Oh. <laughs>